Brad, uh, 2023 is going to be your fourth in MotoGP, uh, your ninth in Rebel KTM Colours. You've won Grand Prix, you've been on the podium, uh, first race and the last race of last season. Um, do you feel like it's all building up to something? Sure. You know, it's been, I've been uh, many years with, with Red Bull KTM factory racing. Uh, it's crazy to think that I'm going into my ninth season with them already and my fourth in MotoGP. So, uh, it's really exciting. Um, you know, I feel, I feel great this season. We ended last season in a good way. Um, we, we, we left the last test, uh, with a lot of small improvements. And of course, there's still things we need to work on going into the season. But, uh, in general, I think we've made a step forward. And, you know, any small step in MotoGP at the moment with how close it is can really go a long way. So, um, yeah, I really hope this is all building up into the, the season that we expect from ourselves and uh, hopefully we can get the results that we know we're more than capable of. In 2022, you were seen as one of the best riders on the grid. I mean, I think you led the chart for the most positions gained. Um, you know, how do you feel about that appraisal of you? I mean, you know, finished sixth in the championship. Uh, you may see it as a season where things went quite well, but also not as well as you'd hoped. Um, what do you think about this appraisal of you as, as one of the strongest riders in MotoGP? Uh, sure, that's very cool. Um, it's great, you know. Uh, the only thing that I worry about is podiums and winning races. So that's my goal. That's what I'm there to do. And um, yeah, I mean, if you look, look at the bigger picture of how we had some really tough times last season, to finish sixth in the World Championship was great. But it, by no means is it where I want to be. Um, I want to be fighting with the top guys all the time and I'm here to fight for a title. That's what I want to achieve in my life. And, uh, yeah, we just got to keep working. And, uh, I, I honestly believe it's something we can achieve. And I think our best shot we've ever had at getting it right is going to be this season. This year, we can't talk only about Sundays. We have to talk about Saturdays as well. Uh, you know, the sprint race format, something completely new for you, for the sport, for you and your career. Um, how do you feel about this, this challenge? Sprint racing is going to be something that's going to be new to all of us. Obviously, to have a race in, in MotoGP on a Saturday is something completely new, but it's something I'm excited for. Um, I always prefer racing. If I have to choose racing or doing laps in FP4, I definitely choose racing every time. So it's exciting for us. You know, it brings something completely new. You know, you don't need to worry about, um, you know, your tire, tire wear too much or anything like that. It's really just going to be an all out race and I'm sure a huge fight from beginning to end. So, uh, so exciting. And I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how the first one turns out in Portimao. The first tests are coming up, uh, Sepang, and then of course, you know, um, on the Algarve International Circuit in Portugal. Uh, what are the two main things that you've asked from KTM and, and the team and um, the whole crew of guys for, for the RC16 this year? Well, for me, uh, throughout last season, it was extremely clear what we need to go to be faster. Uh, we needed, the, the thing was, it wasn't just one specific point. Our bike did everything quite well. We just needed everything to be a tiny bit better. We needed better stopping, a little bit better turning and more rear grip. So they have brought us a new, a new bike, which we did test in, in Valencia. And uh, that definitely touched a few of our problems. And I felt like it has the potential to grow from there. So um, looking back, I'm excited to see where we can take this thing. And uh, yeah, I, if we can find some rear grip and a bit of turning, it will go a really long way. MotoGP has a range of winners, guys appearing on the podium. Um, for people that are watching through the TV or at the circuits, I think there was 2.4 million of them last year. Is it as thrilling as it looks? It is. Uh, you know, MotoGP at the minute, you don't know whether you're coming or going. You might be fighting for a podium one weekend and uh, you'd be two seconds off at the end of the race fighting for fifth, sixth place. So MotoGP at the minute is so tight and so competitive that um, I think it's just as thrilling for us, the riders, as it is for the fans to watch on TV at the moment. There's going to be 21 Grand Prix next year. Uh, like we've spoken about the sprint races as well, making it a busy weekend. Uh, it's, it's a lot of traveling. It's a, a lot of time away for the guys, for the whole team. What's kind of the secret 
to building a good atmosphere and a good crew around you because you know people look at you and your mechanics your whole kind of your group there and see it very tight so tell us a little bit about building that well i think uh it's not something that you really work at or do i think it's something that kind of came very naturally for me uh, and my crew um you know i i've said it before i have the most amazing crew behind me they're all firstly great people as well as really great at what they do so that always makes things so easy you know you or you're excited to get to the track the next week because you want to see the guys because they're all your mates so um it's one thing i've always enjoyed and uh it's one thing that really makes the traveling and a uh, long time away from home and all of that much much easier and of course racing a moto gp bike for a living is it's also pretty cool you mentioned there, you know, racing a MotoGP bike. Uh, the series itself is intense. It's tighter than ever. Can you just try and define for us what it's like to be a MotoGP rider in 2023? Uh, well, I mean, it's going to be a new year for all of us. Like you said earlier, with the sprint racing, it, essentially there's 21 Grand Prix, but we're having 42 races. So it's uh, double what we've ever had. So it's going to change the format up a lot. You're going to have to start off really fast on a Friday because there's no time to fix things on a Saturday because you're going straight into the qualifying and the race. Um, yeah, it's it's going to mix things up a little bit for sure. I think there's going to be a lot more pressure to perform every weekend because obviously there's more points on offer and any small mistake uh, can be a lot more costly the way I see it.